welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. Today I'm going to do a quick review on some watercolor paints that I bought this month, a few weeks back. And they are the U-L-O-O-C-I-C-H-I uh, Arts Pro. I like the paints. I don't think that I'm going to have to take the tin off and redo it because this the lid will not shut good. But other than that, everything seems fine. I love the brush, the water brush that came with it. Although I have lost the lid, I think the dogs got it. I rearranged my corners in my palette to better to fit me I did find that a few of them was not on the palette was in the yeah in the palette so I kind of made up my own version of it these two was not in it rest of them I think was but here's how they swatched out for me I just cut a little piece of cards uh, water paper well, I can stick it in here and I'll know what's what. But I do like it because of the fact that I can see what colors, how it's going to look when I get done. I'm not an artist, by no means. So please do not take this as an artist tutorial or deal. I'm a scrapbooker. And a, I'm just a crafter. And, um, uh, but anyways, I'm going to use, use this and do a stamp image of a flow real quickly. Just to kind of show you how well they do work with the water pen. I did one, a video last week, I think, with these same paints. And I used, uh... I stamped the end too, but I used a different brush. But I just squil squeeze a little bit out. And I'm using the uh, chocolates on this. Just kind of coloring it in lightly. And I'm sorry I haven't been around the last few days. I do this when I feel I'm feeling good these days and I'm having bad days more bad days than good days and um, so with that being said <laughs> we're just going to get act like I'm feeling good today I actually I'm feeling pretty good after three four hour nap this morning that is way too long but you can just spread it out until you get it the the color you want. And I'll probably go in and use a different color just kind of to highlight highlight it. And use the um, you can use your heat gun to dry it if you impatient like I am. And that's the dogs. I'm probably trying to look for the bigger dog that's in here with mama. <laughs> Reba, you want to say hi? And then I'll probably be in the doghouse for sure if they knew she was in here and they wasn't. But I'm going to heat, heat this or dry this with the heat gun real quick. And why I do that is where I can go back in and get more color in what I want it. And the other leaves I want a little bit darker than I do the inside. Okay. 
and in dogs' names, we've got Reba, and Reba's a big, big dog. And then we got Tootsie and Jesse. That is Little Maltese. That is inside dogs. And any of them comes in to visit with me when I'm out here in the craft room. So at any given time, you might hear a dog. It's just life here. But as far as I can tell, as paint-wise goes, and like I said, I am no artist. So, then, if you're an artist, I mean, this is why I'm saying what I'm saying, is I I just dabble in um, watercolors. I dabble in oils. I dabble in all of it, in paints. But... To me, they seem really nice. I mean, I've done some pictures with them that I have not finished. But I am working on some. And I will show those to you as soon as I get this done. But they go on really smooth to me and all. So, and the link for these will be down below in the description and also at Angie, angiecraftcorner.com on the blog pop my blog post lordy can't talk today and uh, I'm going to just rinse my brush out and pick up some zap green well they call it something else but it's zap Dry my brush off just a tad. And dip it back in. Ooh. Now I've got a, a, a towel on my leg that y'all don't, can't see. And that's all it is to it. And it done. I mean, this floral, I'm calling it done. Like I said, I am no artist by no means. I am trying to learn to be, to do watercolors, but it's harder than it looks. And I bought these paints in the hopes of learning it, but I'm still having issues. But that's just me. But, like, Here's one I started, and I mean, a lot of it just came out like I wanted, some of it didn't, it. but I'm still going to work on it in the next day or two, and see if I can't, it's just a little, I mean, it's just a little piece like this, but it's just practice, and practice, and practice, and I know that's how, I, how anything you do goes. But, honestly, I think for less than 20 bucks, I think it's a good set. You've got all of this mixing um, area where you can mix your paints. you got 24 uh, different corners in a half pans. And when I say, I mean, they in a little pan. I didn't know if I was going to like the pans, but I do. And that's all I know to say on them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us, and we'll see you in a few days. Have a blessed day, and have a Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you before then. Love y'all, hugs, and have a wonderful Christmas, and remember what the season is for. Thank you for joining us at Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie, and we'll catch you later.